What I've learned in my Holocaust unit is that there were so many people who lost their lives for just being different. How easily it is for people to abuse power and what people will do if they're under the wrong leader. The hatred that Hitler put on Jews and Holocaust victims. To never discriminate no matter who. Not to discriminate against different people and like trying to be an upstander. I think it's important that students uh, learn about this history because it's history, but it's not history. I mean, these kinds of things are still happening. My goal for my students is for them to learn the history, but also to take it with them. I firmly believe it's really, really important that students study this history and understand what can happen when groups are targeted, especially by a government. It's important to teach Holocaust curriculum, especially in a place like Spokane, because students don't always have the understanding about the precursors, the problems, and the specifics of what happened in the Holocaust. The Holocaust Center for Humanity works for me and works with me and other educators to be able to enhance the quality of education for our students. As an ELA teacher, getting students to connect with someone's narrative, with someone's story, this unit is so much more engaging than other units that I've taught. The uh, teaching trunks in particular were really compelling. I think a, a good way for kids to kind of buy into or spend a little more time getting to know that material in a comfortable kind of way in a classroom. I thought it was incredible, life-changing. I cried like six times. All of the materials that were presented today and the stories that we were told today in the books, um, especially the books because I'm an English teacher, are really going to impact the kids. We don't have a lot of resources at my school and the kids are hungry for knowledge, they're hungry for books and they're hungry for education. And I think that is going to just open their eyes and really help them learn and see it in such a deeper way than they could have before. I think it's very important to learn about the Holocaust so younger audiences just know that what happened wasn't okay. We are in the midst of challenging and unprecedented times. The Holocaust Center for Humanity has been working around the clock to reinvent programs to meet the needs of our community. Our new Book by Book program offers free books to students in Washington State. A few things that I got personally from this book would be the fact that one small act of kindness could lead to a sea of good acts. And of course, our virtual lunch and learns with stories and presentations from members of our Speakers Bureau. A big thank you to the Holocaust Center for making this available to students. It was so easy to set up. This epidemic is giving us an opportunity to stay connected around the world. I don't want anyone to be like, oh, this just happened once. Even if it didn't occur to you, I feel like you should like have a say in it. You should talk about it. The more you talk about it, the less it will happen. Learning about the Holocaust isn't that, like I think everyone in the world needs to do at least like once in their life. It just taught everyone so much and gave everyone so much questions. What I think I remember of this experience now and in the future is we, the generation, need to get our voices out there. We have to speak up about everything. Literally, if we don't use our voices, then what's the point of having a voice at all?